So it turns out that I'm not the only one who can use some help in the kitchen. Megan and Kevin have been married for just over a year, but because of their work commitments and schedules, they find it difficult to have evening meals together, which means a lot of expensive takeout. Home economist Joyce Parslow has stopped by to help Megan and Kevin bring wholesome, simple and budget-wise meals to the table. I really don't know what to do when it comes to buying meats. There's lots of meat to choose from here. A lot. And I think I'm going to choose the cross rib hot roast for you. Ooh, yummy. And it makes a great anchor for a healthy plate. Here with your seasonal vegetables, that'll really make a great nourishing meal. As a home economist and a mom, I help families get budget-wise, wholesome meals to their tables. Getting comfortable with cooking is going to make us comfortable having more people over and family over and entertaining and barbecuing. And you say you're confused when you get to the meat counter. Yes. We've got a great app oh. to help you figure out how to buy your meat. It'll tell you how to cook the cut, and there's lots of great recipes, too. That's perfect. Yeah, let's get going. We're okay, Back perfect. to the kitchen. So, Megan, you've got this beautiful kitchen. What's the problem with you trying to get a nice home-cooked meal on the table? The biggest challenge for us is our staggered schedules. Kevin's nine to five, I'm getting home late. We just end up throwing in a frozen pizza. Well, you know, there's this great new website called the Yummy lunchclub.ca because what you need is a strategy where you cook a meal once and then you use the leftovers to make a great lunch next day. Technology can go a long way to help with confidence in the kitchen. I'll just take you through it a bit. See they've got uh, recipes here and look there's even a great video for the Greek pot roast that we're going to make. Oh that looks delicious. Now how would I incorporate that when I'm getting home late at evenings? Well, this is why I thought the pot roast was a good solution for you because you can cook it like it shows in the video in a cast iron roaster, but for you, you probably need to turn to your slow cooker. Put it in there in the morning and it just takes minutes to prepare. And then it cooks all day, simmers away, the meat gets beautiful and tender, it makes its own sauce. You come home to a fabulous meal. That would help us out so much. And you get leftovers to make lunch the next day and, and the website can really help you know how to turn that into a, a fabulous lunch for the two of you too. Today's been great, learning new recipe and how to extend it into lunch. So we've got our cross rib pot roast and there's very little you need to do to get this ready. So. We're just gonna season it. You okay. do the pepper, I'll okay, do the salt. Great. Season it all over, good. Ooh, that looks good. And that's all you need to do to the roast. Okay. For the sauce, we just have a basic tomato sauce. So I'm just gonna add some oregano to it. And then we're gonna put some olives in. Have you put mm. it in olive before? I never have. It's uh, easy to do with a knife. You can just do that, and then you pull the pit out. Okay. You wanna give that a whirl? Or you Let's can just, uh, just use your thumb. So that's all it is to it, really. Wow. So why don't we just pour in our olives here and you give it a stir. So I'm just gonna pop this into the slow cooker and then we're ready to go. Oh, awesome. So that's all there is to it. You could easily do that in the morning. Absolutely. So let's get the sauce on. Just pour, pour it over on top. top. Yeah. And I like to cook this on low because if you cook it on high, you sort of reduce its ability to tenderize. So it'll take about eight hours. You know, we're all done here. You're ready to go to work now. That's great. Thank you, Joyce. Oh, you're welcome. It was great to see Megan get so comfortable using her slow cooker. Megan! I'm in the kitchen. How are ya? Fantastic. Oh, good. How about yourself? What do we have here? We have a Greek pot roast and two different types of salads. It must have been uh, really busy with Joyce today. It, it was awesome with Joyce. Oh, it's a lot yeah. of food. It, you know what, it is a lot of food, but it's great because we can pack this up for lunch tomorrow and take yeah. it to work. Perfect. Yeah, so cook once and eat twice. Cook once, eat twice. The Greek pot roast turned into a great next day lunch. What can I do? Actually, you can um, toss the salad there. Today's meal tasted phenomenal. The roast was melt in your mouth. Kevin wanted thirds. It was so good and I think it's something really easy that I can do on a weekly basis, something that I can pick up easily. For more tasty recipes and helpful videos, visit yummylunchclub.ca.